welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more great read-alouts. Enjoy the story. Gregory Shadow, written by Don Freeman, author of Corduroy. Early one cold morning, Gregory Groundhog bundled up before going outside. He had spent the entire winter inside his cozy burrow home. Tomorrow was Groundhog Day. The farmers would want to know if Gregory and his shadow came out of their burrow together. If they did, there would be six more weeks of winter. But if Gregory came out alone, spring would be coming very soon. Come, shadow, Gregory said to his friend. I can't wait until tomorrow. I'm hungry. Let's go dig up something to eat. Gregory was shy. Having a friend like Shadow made him feel brave. They did everything together. Sure, said Shadow. I'm right behind you. Gregory opened the door. It was a windy day, but the sun was shining. The ground was covered with snow. When the two friends reached the edge of Farmer Ferguson's garden, Gregory saw another shadow coming toward him. It was waving its arms. What could it be? Gregory was frightened. He ran back home. Wait for me, Shadow called out. But it was too late. Gregory had closed the door. He was so scared, he forgot about his friend. He pulled the covers over his head and shut his eyes tight. Shadow was left outside. Shadow was alone. He was shy too, and being with Gregory made him feel brave. He looked up from the shadow with waving arms and saw Farmer Ferguson's Scarecrow. Who Shadow are you? asked the Scarecrow. I belong to Gregory Groundhog, replied Shadow, but he left me here. What should I do? I would like to help you, but I don't know how, said the Scarecrow. I don't need a Shadow. As you can see, I already have one. Shadow felt very sad. He leaned against the tree. Are you lost, said the tree. Shadow told her about Gregory. I would like to help you, but I don't know how, said the tree. I don't need a Shadow. As you can see, I already have one. I know where I belong, Shadow said, with Gregory Groundhog. He walked slowly through the snow. He soon grew tired. Just then, he saw an old barn. That's a good place for me to rest, he said to himself. I'll be able to think more clearly after I have a nap. Shadow climbed into the dark, cozy hayloft and fell asleep. Meanwhile, Gregory Groundhog had realized Shadow was missing, and he was hunting for his friend. Maybe he's under the bed, he thought. But all he saw was a straw mattress he had put there last fall. Maybe Shadow is lost, he said. He must be scared. I will go find him. Gregory spent all day searching through the falling snow and didn't even think about how scared he was. He only thought about finding Shadow. When it began to snow harder, Gregory ran into the barn. It was very dark inside. Bang! The barn door blew shut behind him. Up in the hayloft, Shadow opened his eyes. He looked down and saw his dear old friend Gregory. Gregory looked up. He thought he saw something in the hayloft. It looked like a blue ghost. Gregory was just about to dash out the barn door when he heard a voice say, It's me! I'm your lost shadow! Oh, no, 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 you're no, no, not my shadow, Gregory said. You're a ghost. Then he ran outside. It had stopped snowing. Shadow followed his friend into the bright moonlight. Gregory wouldn't leave him behind this time. When Gregory Groundhog turned around, he was very surprised. Why, you really are my shadow, he said. I found you at last. And I found you, said Shadow. Never was there a happier pair. They danced together far into the night. Then Gregory said, I almost forgot. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day. The farmers will be looking for me. They made their way back home. If they see us together, they will be unhappy. It will mean six more weeks of winter, Gregory told his friend. He didn't want the farmers to be unhappy, but he didn't want to be separated from his friend again. What should he do? Early that morning, farmers and their families waited to see the groundhog. They watched from a great distance. Here he comes now, said Farmer Ferguson. Gregory opened the door to his burrow. It was a gray, cloudy day. He sniffed the air. He saw the farmers. Then he had a very good idea. Hide behind me, Shadow, he whispered. Shadow understood. He snuggled up behind his friend as close as he could and held on tight. He was so close, no one could see him. Hooray! The groundhog is staying outside without his shadow. The farmers cheered. Spring will be here soon. Our hard winter is over. Farmer Ferguson gave Gregory some delicious vegetables he had kept in his root cellar to thank him for the good news. And oh, what a feast Gregory had. Ever since, when Gregory Groundhog waits until the 2nd of February to open his door, he and Shadow stay close to each other all the time, and they are always very brave.